Help. Blue's Clues Demos. Web. Freddy Fish and the Case of the Creature of Coral Cove. Demos. Credits. Quit. Play. <laughs> Here we are! Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun! And be safe! Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! Some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not going to let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me, too. Something seems fishy here. But, Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park. Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! You look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Hi there. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number 15 fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. 
I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears! Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Phew. Key should I try? It might be this key. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! There! The keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see fin picks already. must be the fin pit Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. How many purple sea urchins for the glue? One purple sea urchin? You can't beat that. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course, I'll only be a moment. All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Huh? All right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Mayor Marlin. Now, Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. Everything was smooth as usual until the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into that stinging anemone. Ouch! How will you get it out? I'm clueless and I'm trapped here. Can you help? Are you kidding? We love to help the clueless. Luther means that we'd be happy to help you put the sign back up. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. 
we're happy to help. I can't reach into the stinging anemone. Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi! Well, hello. My name's Kit Craftsman. What do you use this for? The wrench? I'll use that to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. That must be hard for you. It's a heartbreaker. If only I had a big enough bottle for the ship, then I wouldn't need the wrench. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. your barber shop. Thanks. I did all the decorating work. What are you playing? Jugs. You're good. Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. I love jug band music. This isn't even music. Glass bottles can't hold tune. Why are you using it? Because I'm missing one jug. If I had a jug, I wouldn't need this glass bottle anymore. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi there, my name's Kipper. It's a taffy-making machine. Yum! Yuck, what a terrible flavor! Yum! I found a winner! Hello there, I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? 
Nice to meet you, Rollo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal, Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Who are you? My name is Al B. Core. I am in the business of card trading. Pleased to meet you, Al B. Core. It's a purple sea urchin. Good eye, Freddy. Look, it's a trading card. Hey! That's my roof! <laughs> Your roof is made out of a trading card? Until I get one like this top-of-the-line cone-shaped roof, yes, that's my roof! Oops. Oh, we'll put it back. Maybe we can help you find an orange cone-shaped roof. Then I wouldn't need this hokey trading card roof. My home is my castle, and a little privacy is all I ask for. I got it! Way to go! Whoa! Hi, Casey. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Luther. What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is missing its lens. That must make things difficult. Darn near impossible. Maybe we can find you a microscope lens. That'd be great. Then I could continue analyzing these food samples. Hi. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. The name's Marge. Marge the Sarge. That drill book looks interesting. It sure is. I use the drills in here to whip these tetras into shape. What do you mean? I lost my medal, so the tetras had some trouble respecting my authority. Having that book gives me some clout. So if we got your metal back, would you need the drill book anymore? Uh, nope, you could have the drill book if I had my metal. Hey, it's Mess Hall Mania. I love this game. How do you play it? Well, it's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish. And you hide mine. Then we take turns and try to find the hidden fish and feed them. Whoever feeds all of their fish first wins. Okay. I need to hide the schools of fish. That's right, Freddy. You can rotate them, too, to make it harder. Just press the play button after you've hidden all of the fish. I need to hide Luther's fish so he can't find them. This won't feast, this won't feast. Rotate. 
I'm really good at this game, so why don't you go first? If you find a fish, it will eat the food and make bubbles. Okay, Luther. Try not to eat all the food. Green shoe. So close, but yet so far. Purple apple. That's a miss. Orange grapes. Oh man, you got one! I had a feeling that was the right spot to pick. Green cherry. Nope. Orange toast. You fed a hungry one. What about red strawberry? Hmm, that's a miss. I've got a good feeling about orange shoe. I can't believe you found that one. Blue banana. Way to go. I'm a pro. I want red grapes. Sorry, Freddy. There's nothing there. How about blue apple? Perfect. You got one. Hmm. Yellow grapes. Good guess. You found one. Green apple. Uh-uh. How about yellow shoe? Oh, um, nope. That's a miss. I think I'm going to try blue shoe. Oh, that's a miss. I think I'm going to try yellow toast. You found one. You're really lucky. You fed them all. I just know there's one at green banana. There's nothing there. Let's see. Orange apple. You got one. Yeah. Blue cherry. Yep, there's one there. Right on. Orange banana. I can't believe you found that one. Purple banana. Sorry, Luther. Not this time. Yellow apple. Good guess. You found one. This is fun. There's just got to be one at purple cherry. You found one. One down, four to go. Red apple. You fed a hungry one. Uh oh, I better hurry. I'm going to try orange hot dog. Better luck next time. Green cherry. You found one. Excellent. Yellow shoe. Sorry, Luther. I'll try yellow cherry. Better luck next time. I've got you now. Purple toast. Better luck next time. Hmm. Blue cherry. Whew, that's a miss. Blue watermelon. Nope. I want green banana. You got one. Orange grapes. Good job, Luther. Green strawberry. Oh, man, you got one. You only have two groups left. Orange toast. Way to go, Luther. You got one. Blue hot dog. Not even close. Red grapes. Good job, Luther. Yellow pear. That spot is wide open. Red toast. Uh-uh. I think I'm going to try green pear. That's a miss. What about red shoe? There's nothing there. Red pear. Nothing but open water there. How about orange shoe? Hmm, that's a miss. Let's see. Purple grapes. You got one. All right. I just know there's one at yellow toast. Sorry, Luther. How about purple toast? So close, but yet so far. There's just got to be one at yellow grapes. Perfect. You got one. Two down, three to go. I knew it. I'll try purple shoe. Better luck next time. I think I'm going to try yellow pear. Ooh, that's a miss. Blue grapes. Good guess. You found one. Red pear. You found one. Hot sauce. Blue shoe. Sorry, Freddy. There's nothing there. Red watermelon. Way to go. I warned you that I was good at this game. I've got a good feeling about green grapes. You fed a hungry one. I'm getting the hang of this now. I've got you now. Orange pear. Yep, there's one there. Blue toast. Oh man, 
one, you got one! Rex, you found all of this group. I'm going to try Red Hot Dog. That's a miss. I want Purple Banana. Oh, nope, that's a miss. I've got you now. Orange Watermelon. Way to go, Luther. You got one. Uh-oh, I'd better hurry. All right! Red Strawberry. Nothing but open water there. Green toast. Good job, Luther. Hmm. Yellow hot dog. I can't believe you found that one. I'm going to try green hot dog. Yep, there's one there. All right. How about orange hot dog? You found one. I'm getting the hang of this now. What about green grapes? Sorry, Luther. Not this time. Let's see. Green hot dog. That spot is wide open. Blue toast. That's a miss. Red hot dog. Not even close. I just know there's one at yellow hot dog. Nope. Orange pear. You fed a hungry one. I think I'm going to try blue hot dog. Uh-uh. I'll try... Orange watermelon. You found one. Ooh, I barely beat you. You're so lucky. Just one more game? Maybe later, Luther. to buy some glue, please. You've come to the right place. I can offer you top of the line. Ultra fantastic elastic glue. Here you go. Thanks. Going for the fake tattoos. Keep it steady. Steady. Oh, I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. Wow. At least we got to play the game once before it broke. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace, too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. Here's the permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say. Well, I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. Another purple sea urchin. What's this? Yuck! It smells. 
smells horrible. Look at the size of the bite taken out of it. It's big enough to be a sea monster. That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We're hot on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. Those meddlesome kids are gonna ruin my grand plan! Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first! Oomph! 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 I'm too big to fit through this hole. Let me try! Like a dream! Luther, you need to unlock the door so I can get in too. You got it, Freddy! That orange safety cone is heavy. I'm going to need Freddy's help with it. This big wheel must open the door. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but the door is locked. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. I'll try this again. It's an orange safety cone. Just what we needed. It's a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first. That's a metal over there. I think you're right. is too far away. If only it was attracted to my magnetic personality. Whoa, this jug is broken. We're going to need glue to get all those pieces back together. Glue is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. We're getting somewhere that piece fits. Good one, Freddy. We're getting somewhere. Good one, Freddy. There. All done. Just like new.
Look at that mud skipper go! He seems to know exactly which puddles to jump in to get across. We made it, Luther! Yeah, we're good! It's a pair of glasses! Do I look smarter, Freddy? Way smarter, Luther. You know, someone may have lost these. Let's put them away for safekeeping. Whoa! Those Tetras mean business. They're too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer them away from the doorway. What's this fancy gadget all about? This fancy gadget saves you the pain and discomfort of having to reach into unseemly places. Unseemly? Yeah, you know, stinky, dirty, poisonous, hot, whatever. There are all sorts of places I could use that. Watch it work. Wow, that is really neat. It's a bargain at three purple sea urchins. I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Here's another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. Maybe the extendo arm will reach that metal. Go, Freddy, go! The extendo arm can't quite reach the metal. We'll have to find another way to get that metal. Gee, you'd think that metal would be attracted to us. I think we'll need more than our magnetic personalities to get that metal. Got the bolt! This extendo arm is a miracle of modern science. I'll say. Whoever said no pain, no gain doesn't know what they're talking about. Oh no. 
I guess we're all done with the extendo arm anyway. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this jug? Hooey! Of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. Would these glasses help? My glasses? My glasses! I can see! I can see! Thank you! May we have the microscope lens? Yes! Please take that thing out of my sight! My glorious sight! Thank you. No, thank you. I hope this is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You saved me the pain of dismantling my work. Do you still need the wrench? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My creation is safe in her permanent home. Thanks. We'll take good care of it. We're so close! All I need is something to tighten this bolt into place. Like a wrench? Nick. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we can see what's in your store. It's cool to be back in business. A magnet might be useful. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. What a deal! This is the best store ever! Thank <laughs> you.
safety cone is just like the one in your magazine. What? It's a spitting image! Structurally, your home will be much more sound with this cone, sir. You bet it will! Why don't you go ahead and take that old trading card? Thank you! Try this lens, Casey. That did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. That's not going to do me any good. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm hmm Just as I suspected. Come to think of it, look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. Too bad you lost the magnet, Freddy. Oh well, we don't need it anymore. A magnet was all we needed to get the metal over here. The attraction is obvious. Don't say! It is my medal! It fits perfectly into the blank spot on your uniform. Of course it does. Thank you both. Do you still need the drill book? No, you can have it. Thanks. Cheese. 
lead fin, sea cheese curds, shark steak mumbo, freaky styly, ode to a burp, ode to a burp, ode to a burp. I don't care who says it's rude. I don't care who says it's rude. Burping helps me digest food. Burping helps me digest food. <coughs> there they go. Perfect. Now we can get through that door. Yes! That was the key! Finally, we're in! It sure is dark in here! This is creepy! Let's leave! Not so fast! We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues! Oh yeah! Perfect! The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Phew! I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. One, pick up some sea cheese. Two, scare townspeople away from my home. Three, order 50 pounds of taffy for delivery. This must be the sea creature's to-do list. Are you sure? I am positive. We need to find the address of this 50-pound taffy delivery. That must be where the sea monster lives. Has anyone ordered a large amount of taffy for delivery today? Say, 50 pounds of taffy? Woo! That rings a bell somewhere, but I don't remember any details. Is there any way to find that information? Yeah, if I can remember the password to my computer, we could look it up. What's your pet's name? Mother's maiden name? Nope. Password written down on the back of a trading card? But then I traded the trading card. Tell us more about that trading card. Well, I seem to recall it had a picture of a professional bowler on one side. My password was written on the other side. Got that, Luther? Congressional Molar. Yep, I've got it. Here's a written description of the card. If you can find it, I could get into my computer and look up my delivery records. We'll see what we can do. Here you go, Freddy. A professional bowler trading card? Yes, but only someone making a card trade can touch it. I'd like to trade this card for the professional bowler trading card, please. Let's see. 
Here you go. It was nice trading with you. You too. Thanks. Could this be the trading card you meant? That's the very one! And the password is still written on it! K I P P E R Dipper! So much Daffy makes me Daffy! Thank you! Could we check the address on that big 50 pound order you sent out today? You bet! That order went to Smartswood Hole, the deepest crevice in the ocean! That must be where the sea monster lives! Let's go! Rise up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair! Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family! Yeah, oust the sea monster! We're all behind you, Marty! Look at the size of that crevice! Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy! to darken Zephyr's doorstep! It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. There is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. Was right here! The deed has been stolen! The deed is gone! And so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Zamfir, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. Here we are at Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zamfir's deed. Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows, it might come in handy. Urgh. This rubber ducky is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. 
Here, dogfish. Get your rubber ducky. He loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. Whoa! Marty set a trap. I hope we're not stuck in here. Oh, great! The whole place may be booby-trapped! We need to find a way out of here. Hmm, a weight could be useful. Shh! Look! We can see into the other room. <laughs> no one will find Zamfir's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> we need to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. Look at that tiny window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. That fits nicely. But it doesn't weigh very much. Perfect! Now we're getting somewhere. That does the trick! We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. I think the position of this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. This candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while. No problem. The door's unlocked now. Somehow I think going through this door is still going to put us on the wrong side of the bookcase. Look, Freddy, it's my favorite book. 
Oh, yeller fin. Closer. You knocked a book out of Marty's bookcase. Huh? It's the fake book. We need to open up Marty's safe with the combination we found. This key must be important, too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the deed. The vase's position means something. Let's try it here. The chandelier changed to red. The chandelier changed to blue. This candle should be in a candlestick holder. compartment and there's a keypad inside. What's it for? It must be part of the combination to open the safe. Five, eight, two, enter. Here's the deed. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Zamfir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. Just like Zamfir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Samphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? Let's bring down these walls and this gate. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now. <laughs> <laughs>